Hello everyone, I'm Chef Mike and in this video I'm gonna teach you amazing sea bass dish with deconstructed ratatouille garnish. So if you like this French classic, you're gonna love this recipe. But now, stop talking and let's do it. So we start with tomato puree. We're gonna cut tomatoes to small pieces. Next, we need some onions and garlic. So I peel them and cut them as well. And I can tell you, this stuff is strong. You don't have to stress too much about the size, because we're gonna blitz it everything in the end anyway. Now I put my tomatoes on hot pan with olive oil and the same I do with onions in second pan. I want some herbs inside as well, so I chop some thyme and rosemary and put into the pan with tomatoes. When you get some color on onions, you can put some garlic inside as well and roast it together. After a few minutes, you can put some tomato paste and roast everything together as well, so the paste become more sweeter. And now it's time to mix both together. We're gonna season it with salt and pepper 
and with some water, cook until everything is soft and nicely reduced again. And now it's time to blitz it and your tomato puree is done. Next, I do some herb oil. I put some olive oil into the pan and make it hot. Then, I put some parsley, thyme and rosemary inside the blender. And if you have some questions for today's recipe guys, don't be scared to ask in the comment and I'm gonna reply to you as soon as possible. You don't want to fry the herbs, temperature around 70 degrees Celsius is enough to help herbs infuse into the oil. You blitz everything for 5 minutes and pass it through the cloth and put inside the fridge to cool it down. And your herb oil is done. I got some parsley leaves left, so I'm gonna make some parsley crisp. I mix them with some olive oil and put them on the plate. Cover everything with baking paper and put them inside the microwave for 30 seconds. And that's it. Nice, green and crispy parsley. Next, I do some zucchini. Cut it to my portions and roast it on olive oil later on. From aubergine, I cut some big slices. Just cut the skin out, because otherwise you're not gonna be able to roll it. Now I just season my vegetable with salt and pepper and put on the hot pan with olive oil and roast it until everything is cooked and get nice color.
Now I just roll my aubergines to small cigars and cut the dark sides and my wedge is done. And now it's time for king of the show, sea bass. Just make sure you have sharp knives. But first, I'm gonna cut the fins out. And if you like my recipes, don't forget to hit the subscribe button down below, so you're never gonna miss any of my new video. And then I cut nice fillets out of the fish. Then I just clean the fillet from the belly and a few remaining bones. and the fish is ready to cook. I season it with salt and pepper and put on a hot pan with olive oil, skin side down. Always, when you cook the fish with the skin, cook it on the skin for 70% of the time and then just flip it to finish fast. So in my case, I am gonna cook the sea bass around 2 minutes on the skin and then 30 seconds on the flesh and then the fish have to be ready. Like you see, the skin shrinks a little bit, but it's nice and crispy, and that's the important thing. So now we got everything ready and it's time to put on the plate. Start with super soft sea bass, then my roasted courgette and aubergine cigar, Super flavorful tomato puree with rosemary and thyme. Few crispy parsley leaves. and finish it with a little bit of herb oil. I hope you enjoyed today's recipe guys. If you like it, give it thumbs up and if you're not a subscriber, hit the subscribe button down below so you're never gonna miss any of my new videos because on this channel I'm gonna teach you every week how to cook like a pro at home. Thank you for watching and I see you soon.